I think there's actually probably a couple of a handful of roles that you're always going to feel like you haven't, either one day to the next, haven't got the balance quite right. And I think motherhood is one of them, just generally. I think no matter what role you have, there'll always be that feeling of, of wanting to have done more. I just think that's probably the human condition for mums. I tend to try and always think, remember to look at the big picture, because sometimes we always get really bogged down and we've got our head down and we're running on this treadmill, but if you can remember to look up, and look around you and go, okay, what is the big picture here? I think that's what you're always striving for, to get that balance, and some days you get, you feel like you get close to it, other days you fail miserably, but um, I just think you just keep putting one foot forward after another, you know, and just try and achieve that. None of us are superhuman and none of us should feel like we're obliged to be superhuman. We can only do our best and uh, for what it's worth, that's what I constantly try and balance against my my many varied guilts. I have daughter guilt, sister guilt, mother guilt, prime minister guilt. <laughs> Self care, like people being best friends with themselves first, like instead of apologising for taking some time that's just for yourself, celebrate it and give yourself a high five for looking after your sense of well being. Yeah. I just learnt to prioritise because I also know when my health goes everything else in my life falls apart so I kind of put my health as my priority. It's a very conscious choice and you have to have the time and space to be able to make it consciously I guess. I actually really genuinely enjoy being imperfect because my life isn't perfect and I, you know people probably think I eat amazingly healthy all the time. No, sometimes, you know, uh, absolutely when things get really busy and I'm disorganised, which can actually be quite often, um, I will have to resort to something like takeaways or, um, and, and it's not being, it's about not being hard on yourself because being, at the end of the day, being imperfect in my mind is actually being perfect and being able to let go of that is when you're a truly awesome, perfect person. I don't know if anyone has that magic secret recipe. If they do, I'd like to know it. <laughs> but we're three very small people and, um, and working and, and everything else that life throws at you, it is just always a juggling act. I have a favourite saying which is, you never regret a swim. Which is not just about swimming, although it is about that. Um, when it comes to getting in the water, it's like, it can be cold, and maybe it's a little bit windy, and maybe you can't really be bothered getting wet, but I have never in my life gotten out of going for a swim and thought, wish I didn't do that. So I like to kind of take that principle and apply it to life. Like you can talk yourself out of anything, or you can just have a go at it, and chances are you're gonna feel awesome once you've done it.